Today we're going to look at how to back up your favorite Game Boy slash Game Boy Color games using an EverDrive 64 and a transfer pack. To get started, we're going to need some hardware. So obviously, first thing we're going to need is an N64, as well as an original Nintendo 64 controller. It can't be a third-party one because the transfer packs don't work on them. So we're also going to, of course, need that transfer pack, the EverDrive 64, and some games that we want to back up. I chose various games from Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Now over on the PC we need to grab some software for our EverDrive 64, so head over to the EverDrive forums at this link, I'll post this in the description below. We need to grab um, Saturn News uh, EverDrive 64 uh, toolkit here. So what we're actually looking for is this uh, GB64 file. So I have an EverDrive version 3, so I'm going to choose this one. If you happen to have a version 1, you'll want to choose the one right above it. But the version 2, 2.5, and 3 all use this file. So uh, just be aware of what version you have and choose the right file accordingly and get it downloaded. So after it's finished downloading, of course, get it extracted and go ahead and open that up. And now we are left with this uh, GB64 folder. So this folder needs to go on the root of your EverDrive SD card. So just go ahead and uh, copy it. And then go to your SD card and uh, make sure you're in the root like this and just uh, go ahead and hit paste. So I already have these files on my EverDrive so I'm just going to tell it to replace it but uh, you shouldn't have to do that. So there we go. So that's what the folder structure should look like. So now that we got the software transferred over go ahead and get your controller, your transfer pack, the game you want to copy all hooked up to the N64. Put in the EverDrive and get that sucker turned on. And you're going to go ahead and navigate to the GB64 folder, and you're going to launch GB64. Now, due to the temperament of the transfer pack, I do recommend doing all of this while the controller is just sitting flat on a chair. So once GB64 loads up, you should be greeted with a screen that looks like this. And as you can see, there's a lot of different options, but we're interested in the A options. So go ahead and press A, and it'll start dumping your game. Now, this can take anywhere between... 30 seconds up to 4 minutes about, depending on the size of the Game Boy game you're doing. So Zelda's only about a megabyte big, so it only takes about around a minute to, um, to finish up. So it's not, it's not too bad. Some of the other great things you could do with this, uh, this program is actually back up your Game Boy game saves as well. So I'm going to back up my Zelda save uh, just to demonstrate that once the dumping of the ROM is finished, because... Uh, this is a great method of backing up your old Game Boy saves if you have stuff you don't want to lose, like maybe you have a completed file in Pokemon, so this is a great option to uh, keep those game saves intact. With Another great thing is you can actually uh, restore saves to it as well, so say you're playing on uh, your Game Boy, you back up the save to play on an emulator, uh, you can restore that save to the original cartridge later on as well. So once the game is dumped, you can see that it's uh, saved it as Zelda.gb, so go ahead and press B to go back, and here is how you save the um, save file as well. Just press L on the main menu, and it'll dump that save file for you, like I mentioned earlier. And there you have it. So once you're done, press B. Uh, to go back to the main menu and then press Z to exit back out to the EverDrive menu. And at this point, um, I like to test the games on an emulator just to make sure that they dump properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and load this up in RetroArch and we're going to take a look and see what happens. So load this up on this one and ta da, booted just fine. Um, of course, there are better verification tools than just making sure the game will boot, but you know, for me, this is good enough. And I put the save file into the RetroArch system folder and it loaded it right up perfectly like it's supposed to. Um, yeah, this save file wasn't very far along. I literally made it for the purpose of this video. This cartridge actually uh, um, hasn't been used, so 
Sorry about not being able to show you like a further along save file, but I, I, I did what I could. Now, if you have other games you wanted to get back up, the process is exactly the same thing. You just go ahead and get your controller, your uh, transfer pack, your EverDrive all plugged in, uh, get the game into the transfer pack you want to copy, get into GB64, you press that A button, and it'll start dumping your game. And the good news is, if you have multiple games you want to do, you don't have to power off the N64 every time. You just have to back out to the EverDrive main menu, and you can switch cartridges, and then go back into Game Boy 64, and it will uh, load up the new game just fine. So now let's go ahead and talk about some of the errors that can occur while you are backing up your Game Boy games. Sometimes you'll get this dump error um, for seemingly no reason while it's backing up. So just go ahead and back out to the main menu. Um, you could try it again, but chances are it's not going to work. So go ahead and go back out to the EverDrive main menu um, and then reload into EverDrive 64. And sometimes that'll fix it. Other times you'll load into GB64 and just receive an error message um, with the recommendation to check your connection. That is an error that occurs when the transfer pack isn't being detected properly. So go ahead and shut off the N64, um, reattach everything, set it back down on the chair carefully, and turn the N64 back on, and uh, load back into GB64 and see if it can detect the games properly again. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to back up your Game Boy games using nothing more than an EverDrive and a transfer pack. Now there are numerous other options available to dump your Game Boy games. This is just the method that I have on hand. Um, I've had the EverDrive for a while now, it's a great little piece of hardware. Um, and then just the ability to dump Game Boy games with uh, equipment I already have is very, very nice. Like There are other options, like I said, there's some USB dumpers, uh, you can use the Game Boy Player if you have a modded GameCube. And I'd like to show these methods off, I just don't have access to them at the current moment in time. So maybe in a future video, we can show off other methods of dumping some Game Boy games in case you don't have an EverDrive 64. Because these guys are not cheap. And I really don't recommend you go buy the knockoff brands off of Amazon because those things kind of suck. So don't do it. Just don't. Just don't. Save yourself a headache. But anyway, I want to thank you all so much again for taking the time to watch today's tutorial. Um, Game Boy games are, uh, I love Game Boy games, they're some of my favorite games around here, so being able to back them up and uh, preserve old save files is just, it's, it's honestly a necessity for games like Pokemon and stuff like that, like who wants to lose their save um, when you've spent so much time completing the Pokedex or anything like that, I mean unless you want to redo it, I mean it's up to you. But anyway, thank you again for watching today's video. Thank you so much for all the support you show the channel. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button, notification bell, like, dislike button, depending on how much you like the video. And we will see all of you fantastic people back next time.